to the audience listening and watching this, Dan's talking about naming your company and wrapping trucks and uh, logos and, and all these things. Get the book because he goes into like actionable like detail on how to like start thinking about these things, how to take action on them, what not to do, what to do. And it's really, uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a playbook on, on how to, you know, build your brand. So if you want to learn more about any of these topics that Dan's mentioning, just pick up the book for sure. So talking about the, you know, we touched on the money a little bit. When you don't have that strong brand, you're going to overpay for marketing. It's funny. I was just DMing with one of my friends who owns a contracting company in the Midwest yesterday. And he was like, man, just like, we're, we're crushing it, having a record year. Uh, spending 2.5% on, on marketing and just like the brand is so strong, doing a lot of content, doing a lot of Instagram content. So I was like, good for you, man. And he's like, yeah, my competitors like are just trying to, they're scratching their heads trying to figure out like how I'm doing it. Right. And I'm sure the competitors are like, you know, what's he doing on Google or what's the secret? And, you know, there really is, is no secret. It's building that brand. Yeah. And that's, you know, again, just the idea of being visible, in the community, how do, how do we build a brand that becomes sticky and top of mind when that consumer needs service? You know, instead of roofing, you know, repair near me, it's just typing in your name and you're going to win every time on your branded search, especially if you have a name that is very brandable or a branded name, not a generic name, you know. So um, those are things that I don't think people understand the connection between the two. Like we literally just had a case study of a company that does web design for uh, mainly HVAC companies. And they had, they had, they had basically built the websites for 25 kick charge clients and they compared the results to 25 non kick charge clients. Okay. So, so what was the amount of inbound branded keyword searches for their name on a monthly basis? And the kick charge clients were, were seeing a 10 X, return as far as 10x number of branded keyword searches in comparison. The average was like about 450 for a kick charge client with a kick charge brand versus a non kick charge client, which is about 40 to 45. So that's like a 10x number of branded keyword searches that are coming in because again, top of mind awareness within the community is really taking hold. And then the conversion rates were even more interesting. So the conversion rates on a branded um, website with a kick charge brand versus non was was 12% for a kick charge versus 6% for a non. So it was, it was basically double the conversions. And if you want to extrapolate that out, that's that equates to about 50 more leads a month of one versus the other. So wow. again, I feel like that crazy ad that people always say, like, how much would you pay for another 50 leads per month for your HVAC company? But it was it was the reality. And that's that's just a month. So, you know, times 12 and that's 6,000 more, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot, you know what I mean? So, you know, just, just recognizing the relationship to what happens out on the street versus what happens online. There's a direct connection between those, those two elements. And that's why it's so important to get that truck correctly, to make sure that that truck is dialed in and designed in a way that is disruptive, that is memorable, that is legible. Like even just legibility, it's like, feels like common sense to me. And like so many of these truck wraps, you can't even read the name of the company or you can't even tell what they do. Like, so, you know, fixing those things and the relationship that has with what happens online, you know, people are like, well, what does one have to do with the other? Like it has everything to do with, with each other, you know? So a lot of people, you know, don't recognize that relationship and they sort of, you know, look at that truck wrap expense as being really costly, but yet they'll go spend twice as much on a billboard that lasts 30 days. It's like, do you know how many more impressions your truck gets versus the billboard on a monthly basis and, and how much more value it has? Cause that's, that's a truck wrap that's going to last four to five years. So it's the cheapest way to get your name out by far. Like it's nothing's even close. So why not make sure that you make the most use of that canvas and build something that will be memorable, disruptive. You know, colors again, too. You know, I talk a lot about colors in the book. You know, you see so many roofing companies with colors that all seem the same. It's like HVAC companies using red and blue. You know, okay, like everybody else. So why would I ever remember your brand colors? So thinking about it from that perspective, I think is something that's really important. <laughs> lots and lots of common sense. 